Yeah, yeah. Go and play that. Take you down, I'ma say that. Mine need me a couple dollars. Telling you now this payback. Huh, that's so why I take that. Ask them now, we'll say that. I've been going to the top and I got what they not, so I know that they hate that. Uh, but I'm on now. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Jacob here. Today's video, I am going to answer a question that I've actually made up myself because of the fact that I found myself doing some pretty crazy slash stupid things whilst on a competition bodybuilding prep. The way that you feel mentally at certain points can push you to do certain things and that's what I'm discussing today. In the previous video I mentioned uh, something you know relatively crazy that I did if you want to watch that please do but in this video I'm gonna reference my level of steps per day every day for a four week period. So for the four weeks leading up to my second bodybuilding show of the year which I just did about two weeks ago I was so sick and tired of running like literally running jogging running sprinting whatever you may whatever you want to call it jogging running sprinting any form of running any form of activity that was that was that was faster um, in in speed than six kilometers an hour I just wasn't into so what I what I had to do to maintain my level of condition and my level of cardio was to obviously extend the sessions um, still still do the same amount of distance but just not in the same amount of time so what I found myself doing was still trying to you know complete I guess 25,000 steps per day but through walking only okay there's no running well there was running but it was only it was only whilst I was um, at the NZIS at my course so I was studying five days a week uh, we probably did three cardio workouts and two weight training sessions there per week but you know, additional cardio on top of that, that I, I knew I had to do, I had to maintain, you know, I had this figure in my head of 25,000 steps, which I had been able to, to do, um, but that was with a lot of running, not so much walking, you know, <laughs> it takes a long time to do 25,000 steps if you're just walking. So basically guys, this video is about the fact that for four weeks straight, I literally did at least two and a half hours of walking a day. Two hours to two and a half, usually no more than that. So it would be either an hour or 90 minutes in the morning, maybe even 45 minutes. Then I'd get to course, I'd do that. Obviously on the weekend it'd be a bit different, I'd have some more spare time so it'd be easier, but on a day that I, I, I went to course, I'd do an hour's walk in the morning, that'd be 10,000 steps. I'd do possibly about three or 4,000 steps throughout the day, so that's up to 14. Uh, and then I'd have to do a specific second activity, whether that be a walk, certainly wasn't a run, uh, but it might have been a, a slow jog slash walk. So basically to, to hit 25,000 steps, I found myself having to do two, at least two specific cardio workouts per day. Um, and when there were only walks, you know, they got real long, real quick. So shit man, 25,000 steps a day, every single day through walking, sent me crazy, and it was crazy. And that's something I'm discussing today. So that's a crazy thing that I did. You know, what I should have done, right, what I should have done was was man up, be like, well, you know what, Jacob, fuck this. Don't spend two hours out there, okay? Man up, eat some carbohydrates, and run for an hour. You'll get far more calories burnt, you'll feel so much better for it, and you'll get a sweat up, you know, it's, it's, I didn't even sweat during these sessions, which is weird, you know, I was going through sessions in the gym, obviously, you know, I probably was sweating in my harder sessions in the gym, but as far as my cardio sessions, I was not sweating, which is weird, you know, you have to, you do, you should sweat, you, you, it's good for your body, um, and, and post-show, uh, I'm really enjoying, you know, jogging and, and getting a sweat up. So yeah, I can I can safely say that uh, walks are all good, but as far as maintaining a five percent body fat condition, uh, whilst you know, <laughs> whilst maintaining your sanity, I'd say that look, if you're not going to run, I'd say my my best. You know, I probably wasn't going to run. I wasn't going to run. You couldn't have told me to run. You couldn't have fucking forced me to run. So at that point, what I should have done was probably jump on some form of bike. 
like an assault bike or just an everyday you know uh, stationary bike in the gym that I could push my legs um, but I, I was seated you know it wasn't going to be that taxing so I think moving forward I might actually start to use a bike uh, more so than than a treadmill if I'm in a gym but anyways, keeping in uh, keeping in theme with the, the crazy walks and the crazy amount of walks, uh, one day I I I, I realised that shit I've only done fifteen thousand steps today. That's not many, and it really played with my my mind. Um, that night I didn't have a huge amount of energy, so I thought, no, nah, you know what, I'm going to get up in the morning and I'm going to go and do my hours walk and just continue it. Well, I literally could not sleep. I could not sleep, guys, because. When you get to a certain point in a prep, that is all you think about. It is consuming, completely consuming. You know, it goes from fun to not so fun at a certain point. And this was one of those points. And I said to myself, right, you know what, man? You know what? I'd actually dropped my car at course about three weeks prior. And I'd left it there. I'd got a ride home and then I'd used another car. Um, so my car was at course for three weeks and every single time I'd walk past it I'd be like fuck you know what I should do I should wake up early one morning and walk here come and grab it drive home and then drive back to course in my other car I said to myself basically when I'm ready when I'm feeling crazy enough I'm gonna walk here and get it and the time <laughs> the time that I ended up feeling uh, just crazy enough to go and do it was 2 a.m. I went to bed at 9, you know, during the prep I was going to bed pretty fucking early because I was getting up early. Went to bed at 9, couldn't sleep, rolled around until 2 in the morning and thought, you know what, fuck this. I've got to go and get that car and I've got to get to my 25,000 steps. So that's what I did. I got up at 2 in the morning, tried to be as quiet as possible, as inconspicuous as, inconspicuous as possible, uh, put my headphones in, got the Google Maps going, saw that I had 13 kilometres to walk and did it <laughs> took me about two two and a half hours um i arrived there at 4 30 in the morning grabbed the car came home fuck what did i do i think i lay down on the couch for an hour um and then got up did my thing i don't think i went for a walk that morning <laughs> and uh you know had a, a little bit of breakfast because i was feeling tired and depleted um, i wasn't normally having breakfast but i did that morning and mate just guys i'm calling this a crazy thing i'm calling this one of the craziest things i did because of the fact that i walked through town i walked through christchurch at two three in the morning i don't like doing that man that's fucking dodgy all by myself no one else around and i've got my headphones in so if i heard like a little a little noise if i saw something out the corner of my eye i'd fucking quickly take my headphones off and look around and be like no one's no one's following me are they because literally someone could have come up behind me and i would not have known a thing because my headphones are loud my headphones are loud i'm walking with a mission in mind i wouldn't have known a thing it was dodgy fucking dodgy crazy thing to do two in the morning walking two and a half hours to go and pick up your car what an idiot but i got those twenty-five thousand steps and that was the main thing that night anyways guys I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, it's just a, a little bit of an insight, and I, I like doing these things. You know, I like bringing my insights and my opinions to my channel. So if you've enjoyed, there's plenty more to come. Consider subscribing, like the video, and I'll see you soon. Peace out. Don't do what I did. Do what I say, not what I did. That's what they say, isn't it?